Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are diving into an exciting topic, how to kickstart your career in AI. Whether you are a student, a professional looking to switch careers or just someone curious about the field, this video is for you. Let's get started. First, let's clarify what AI is. Artificial intelligence is a branch of computer science focused on creating machines that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence, like understanding language, recognizing patterns, and making decisions. It's a broad field that includes machine learning, NLP, that is natural processing language. To pursue a career in AI, a solid educational foundation is essential. Most roles require at least a bachelor's degree in computer science, engineering, mathematics, or a related field. Some positions, especially in research, may require a master's or a PhD. Uh, here are some key areas to focus on. Mathematics, like linear algebra, calculus, probability, and statistics could be crucial. Programming. Python is the most commonly used language in AI. Familiarize yourself with libraries like TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Scikit-Learn. Then uh, data structures and algorithms. Understanding these concepts is vital for efficient problem solving. If you're looking for resources, there are plenty of online courses available. Websites like Coursera, edX, and Udacity offer specialized AI programs. Some great courses include Andrew NG's machine learning course on Coursera, deep learning specialization also by Andrew NG, AI for everyone for a broad overview of AI technologies. Now let's talk about practical experience. Theory is important, but hands-on practice is crucial. Here's how you can gain experience. Uh, start with simple projects and gradually take on more complex ones. Build a chatbot a recommendation system or work on image recognition tasks. Then uh, you can join Kaggle to participate in data science competitions. It's a great way to apply your skills and learn from others. Uh, also, there are open source contributions, so you can get involved in open source AI projects on GitHub. This will uh, help you collaborate with other developers and enhance your portfolio. Uh, further ahead in this video, we are going to explore how you can jumpstart your career in AI. We'll cover valuable certifications and also create a basic AI application using Python and then further discuss Microsoft services that can help you along the way. So let's dive in. First up, let's talk about certifications. Earning a certification can significantly boost your credibility in the AI field. Here are some highly regarded options. Microsoft Certified Azure AI Fundamentals. This certification is great for beginners and covers the basics of AI and machine learning concepts using Microsoft Azure. Then Microsoft Certified Azure Data Scientist Associate, perfect for those looking to specialize in data science and machine learning using Azure's tools. Google Professional Machine Learning Engineer, this certification focuses on machine learning models and their implementation using Google Cloud. Uh, next, you have IBM Data Science Professionals, a comprehensive program covering data science and AI essentials. Then you have deep learning specialization by Andrew and Gion Coursera. This is an excellent choice for diving deeper into neural networks and deep learning techniques. Now let's get our hands dirty and create a basic AI application using Python. We will build a simple sentiment analysis tool that can determine if a piece of text is positive or negative. First, you have to set up your environment. Uh, make sure you have Python installed. You can download it from python.org. Also, install the required libraries using pip. Here, you have to use uh, the pip install NLTK command. Uh, so, this is the bash command you have to put up in terminal to install NLTK package. Then, import libraries. Start by importing the necessary libraries. Import NLTK from nltk.sentiment. And uh, from an LTK dot sentiment import a sentiment intensity analyzer. I'll just show you. Uh, I have actually used Visual Studio Code as uh, the IDE. You can use any of the Python notebooks to uh, perform this basic uh, code, which I'm just sh showing you. I'll just share my screen. 
As you can see, I'm using Visual Studio Code as my ID. You can use any of the Python notebooks to perform this. So this is a basic application which will provide you with the uh, sentiment analysis and the score at the end about the text or uh, you'll actually get the score of positivity and uh, negativity being assessed from this text. So first you have to run a uh, pip install NLTK in the terminal for installing the NLTK package. So uh, this is your terminal. You have to type pip install NLTK. I've actually already done that, but I'll still show you. So when you do pip install NLTK, it will install the NLTK package. Uh, so once uh, your package is installed and in your environment is set up, you can uh, start with importing the libraries. Uh, so as you can see at the top of this script, you can uh, find import NLTK. And from NLTK.sentiment, we are importing sentiment intensity analyzer, which, which is what we are going to use for uh, performing sentiment analysis. In the next statement, you can see uh, you have to download the required NLTK data. You need to download the Vader lexicon for sentiment analysis. So this statement is going to do that NLTK dot download Vader lexicon within string quotes. Then uh, create the sentiment analyzer. Uh, in this statement, CR equals to sentiment intensity analyzer. I'm actually calling the sentiment intensity analyzer method, which I imported from the NLTK package. And then this is my text. I love using AI to solve problems. I'm going to uh, use my sentiment analyzer over this text to figure out uh, uh, the negativity and positivity scores coming out of this text. And at the end, I do uh, analyze the sentiment of this text. So as you can see, score equals to CI, CR dot popularity scores text. CI is my variable where I've uh, stored my, where I'm calling uh, the function. So I'm making use of the op, uh, that object to call uh, popularity scores against the text as the argument and then I'm printing the score. So when I'm uh, going uh, so when I'm going to run and debug via VS Studio so I'll see uh, the scores being printed here. Can you see this in the terminal? I'll just expand it. So it, it shows me uh, a negativity of 0.225, then neutral is 0.25, POS is for positive, which is 0.525, and compound is 0.5562. So as you can see, the positive score is higher here because uh, it, this text has words like love and uh, solving problems. So the uh, overall uh, text comes out to be a positive statement, and it's just a basic way to detect uh, the sentiment of my text and it's a very important service in AI actually to uh, do sentiment analysis of our text. Suppose we have an application where we have audios and videos and so those audios and videos are actually transcribed and text is being uh, taken out for uh, sentiment detection and from sentiment detection the AI if we are if we have developed a bot or some kind of application uh, where we need to respond, our chatbot needs to respond to the uh, queries or to the questionnaire being input by the user. So sentiment analysis is going to play an important role in detecting what kind of uh, question the person is asking and uh, accordingly will reply back to that question. So the simple code here will return a sentiment score indicating whether the text is positive, negative or neutral. Moving ahead, let's talk about Microsoft services for building AI applications. So um, in order to enhance your AI applications, Microsoft offers various services that can help streamline the process. Here are a few key services. Azure machine learning, cognitive services, bot framework, etc. So uh, 
I'll just show you a few of these so and implement in your applications. So Azure Machine Learning is a powerful platform for building, training, and deploying machine learning models. You can integrate it with your Python applications. So um, on the official site, you'll find uh, all this material available. You can look at the uh, you can look at everything from the scratch in order in order to how to set up your service within your application, how to uh, make use of Python SDKs and Azure CLI to actually build your applications. Then there is Machine Learning Studio available that offers multiple authoring experiences depending on the type of project and level of your past ML experience. Apart from this, there are a lot of co cognitive services available. Um, Cognitive services have the APIs which allow you to add AI capabilities like image recognition, speech recog speech processing and language understanding to your applications without needing deep AI knowledge. If you go and search cognitive services here, there's there's a lot of content available which you can find uh, on the official site of Microsoft. There are tutorials available you can you can go through you can build a machine learning model then there are bot framework services also available if you're interested in creating chatbots microsoft's bot framework provides tools and services to build test and deploy intelligent bots you can find uh, you can find detailed documentation on how to use the services on the Microsoft Azure documentation, as I'm, I've just showed you the official site, which is a fantastic resource for learning how to implement these technologies in your projects. In my future videos, I will actually go into depth of uh, how to make use of the cognitive services. So that's it for today. We have covered some valuable certifications, created a basic AI application using Python, and explored Microsoft services that can help you develop more sophisticated AI projects. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more AI content. See you in the next video.